In this video, we will be looking at the basic elements to be considered for the design of a terrestrial structure uh, for an oil and gas terminal. The terrestrial uh, we are going to use for reference in this discussion is a long 500 structure of a sea constructed to carry um, road decks and steel truss to support pipes to and from the JTH. This terrestrial is to be constructed from sea front towards the sea. The maximum depth of water uh, is around 12 meters. The foundation of the terrestrial structure are spaced at 20 meters and is supported by steel pile. These steel piles are installed vertically and break. Uh, in this slide, we're going to show you the bigger view of the cross section of the terrestrial. Uh, the steel pipe racks uh, and the roadway cross section is shown here. The load on each pipe racks are also uh, indicated uh, with 3.9 km per meter on the top uh, racks, 5.8 in the middle and 5 at the bottom. Uh, on the right hand side is the uh, Roadway with a width of 5 meter and it's supposed to take a load of 10 kN per meter squared. This uh, roadway are made of uh, precast concrete beam and the decks are constructed using in situ concrete. The Truss and the roadway are supported by the uh, RC crosshead. These crosshead are supported by three or four numbers of uh, steel pile. This pile, as you can see from these uh, figures, uh, are raked uh, transversely as well as well. The trestles are linked together by expansion join shown here as EJ one here one there and uh, is placed at every four span sometimes three span to simplify the analysis of the terrestrial we're going to look at a typical uh, span uh, spanning from one expansion joint to the next expansion joint. Uh, so, uh, for the plan view, you can see here the, there's a uh, four span. Uh, each span is supported by um, pile system um, and the fixings of each. Uh, Truss on the pile cross head um, are indicated here as FX uh, for fix and FR for free job. A typical four span trestal system are uh, then uh, developed and analyzed using a 3D finite element software. From the 3D model shown here, we can see the how the truss system are being modeled. And we can also see the um, roadway with the beams and the precast uh, precast precast beam as well as the slab. Also you also, you can see the crosshead 
and the pile groups uh, which are inclined or you call it rake um, longitudinally as well as transversely along the the followings are the design loads that need to be considered for the design of the trestle uh, we can separate the loads into vertical and horizontal loads the dead load uh, comprise of the uh, steel truss, precast beam, and cross head. Superimposed dead load uh, will be made of pipe way in situ deck concrete, where, whereas the life load will be made up of the weaker load from the roadway. Horizontal loads uh, need to be considered are the pipe anchor loads, pipe expansion and construction, contraction, thermal expansion of the truss, braking force for the vehicle on the roadway. The next that we need to consider is the em environmental load. Mm. This will be made up of the wind load on truss and roadway, uh, as well as wave load on pile. The structure of the trestle and the trunkway are then designed to withstand the most severe combination of all loads within limit, as uh, we describe here. The, es the effect of temperature expansion and contraction of the roadway and pipeway shall also be considered so some of the main cases that need to be considered are for example here we show here case one total dead load pipe loading and support loading of the roadway case two total dead load with pipe loading and superstructure loading and wind loading together with the wave and current loads on the pile the next is case 3, this total dead load, pipe way loading and superstructure super loading and pipe anchor load will specify to be loaded. The wave load on piles can be calculated using the Morrison equation as shown here. So using the Morrison equation, we can find the distribution of the wave load from the seabed to the top, top of the structures so we can also use the formula to determine the current load that is uh, acting on the pile groups as well as the roadway structures uh, in this slide, you can see the various forces that have been calculated and applied to the 3D models. The last slide that uh, I want to share here is the uh, typical forces that are acting on the pile group system. Uh, here we have uh, actual force acting on the pile equivalent to uh, maximum 1778 kN 1805 with a bending moment of uh, 223, 396 here and based on the value on table you can uh, then develop the uh, uh, graph of actual force again the moment which we can use to determine the suitable 